Hey, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Alpha and Tips One, and this is a video on how to jailbreak the 3.1 firmware on your iPod uh, Touch second generation, but not your third generation 3G a model that came out recently in the on the Apple event, which happened like two, three weeks ago. So this is for the iPhone 3GS and the iPod Touch second generation. If you want to see the other devices, check out my uh, other video. The link, the annotation on the screen now. So check that out if you. Uh, Watch the wrong video. So what you need to do is uh, in the link in the description there is to your right hand side a um, link uh, to uh, this file you need to download. It's not a file, but it's a program you need to download. It's called Ponage Tool. And uh, what you do is you, uh, you once you've downloaded it, it should take about uh, 15, 20 seconds at the most. Uh, it will start opening up. And once it's open, you have your plug in your device using the using the USB port and uh, whatever device it is plug that in and you select which one which device you want to do so you can pick the first generation iPhone, the Apple Touch second generation or the iPhone 3GS I've got the Apple Touch second generation so what we're going to do is I'm going to go expert mode I think this expert mode is slightly easier actually I think um, and I'll show you how you can customize it and stuff really easily so you click on the Apple Touch second generation and then you click next it will browse for the, browse for the IPSW file which you should have downloaded. You can download it through iTunes. Just click done install. Um, this is it here. This is for the first generation. It looks like. Yeah, this is for the first generation iPod Touch. Should try and find the second generation. This is and um, as you can see here, this is for the second generation. It says two here. So I'm gonna click on that and then click next. So this, in fact, this punish punish tool. Uh, in fact, actually download um, in jailbreaks the iPod Touch first generation, as well as the second generation and the iPhone 3G and the 3GS. Just not the three, the third generation iPod Touch. So, once you have uh, chosen the correct firmware, you click. You can um, just go to custom logos, and if you want to, if you want the original Apple logos, you just get rid of these, and it will use the normal Apple logos. Or you can customize it yourself, whatever you want to do. Um, you leave everything else the same. Leave that there. You can choose actually here. You can either have Cydia. You don't have to have Cydia or IC, but I'm going to keep both. And then you're going to click Build. And then uh, you're off and ready to go. So you click build, and um, what's that load? Sorry. And then you're going to save it to your desktop. So once that is done, it will come up on your home screen, on your desktop screen, obviously, as it's saved. And then um, that's pretty much it. You're going to then open up iTunes and um, restore to the file. That's all it is, guys. Um, so I'm just going to cancel the process here. So and then you're gonna go ahead and open up iTunes and restore to that firmware, which should be on your desktop somewhere. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is your boy iPhone Tips One. If you wanna watch my other thorough video, uh, click the link on the annotation. But this is a really quick video, and this will show you how to jailbreak the uh, the uh, firmware 3.1 on your second generation iPod Touch and 3GS. Thanks for watching. Links in the description. If you're new, please subscribe. A um, lot more f reviews, future content. You really enjoy it, and I've got touch giveaway, so you might as well subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. You bought off and tips one. Peace.